But we are Only Angel Studios and we sell handmade earrings that are quirky, arty, unique. And as a brand, we like to be quite inclusive of everybody, supportive and just an overall like, I've lost my words. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's all wrong. Really. <laughs> um, so my name's Amy. I am a fine, fine art graduate. I am a fine art master student, very arty, very creative and somebody who always likes to be busy. So from this pandemic, I'm furloughed from my job as a bartender um, and I've just got all this spare time and I just really wanted to do something because I just hate sitting around. Um, so I decided to start up my own little business making earrings. It's called Only Angel Studios, um, based in Worcestershire in the UK. Um, and we've been a business for almost two months now, so it's still quite new. When I started, I basically just put all my earrings on Facebook just put them everywhere so my friends and family could see them and I made sure that I wasn't scared what anyone thinks I mean I don't really care what anyone thinks about what I do anyway if they don't like it they can go away so I literally put like 20 stories on my Facebook profile over and over again um I also made a TikTok account because TikTok's one of those platforms that can blow you up in a matter of seconds you never know what's going to happen and I was very fortunate to have a video get to 50k views and I don't, I still don't know how I did it. I can't get it to do it again. Um, but from doing that, I got like 200 sales overnight. Um, most of them being from the US as well, which is really cool. Instagram and stuff I'd use. And I relate it a lot of, like back to my personal journey, why I'm doing it, why I want to do it, what's inspiring me to do it, where I want to get to. And I feel like people can relate to that. And that just really pushes it all forward. As much as Etsy fees are high, and what I do is I incorporate that into the price of the product sometimes, they've got such a massive platform. You've got people, like if I think I want to get a gift for somebody and I want it to be unique, I go to Etsy and my friends have said exactly the same thing. So you've just got this, this massive platform of people. So you're going to get that extra traffic in there. So as much as it is like costly to do, it's worth it. And then what I'm intending to do is once I've um, got like a bit of a steady flow of customers, which is going to take a, a long time yet, and then I'll consider setting up my own website from there. So getting my first sales, um, I lit, as I said before, I literally just pushed my products in front of people's faces and I told everyone about them. So in, I was walking through a shop and the girl said, oh, your earrings are nice. I was like, oh yeah, I make them. Here's my business card. <laughs> like literally just give it to everyone. Um, and I was quite lucky because family and friends were very, very supportive of it. And they were very like wanting to buy from me, wanting to help me grow. And that was just a massive part of it. So I think like when you start up, really push it on any family and friends that you have, because they're most likely going to want to support you because they care about you and your goals and your dreams. I want my brand to be something that is not just about making a profit it's about reaching out to people and sort of creating a bit of like a quirky arty community of people and so by my idea was that I would create earrings for a charity um, and a charity that I've always loved working with and working for is Copperfield um, they're a UK breast charity who raise awareness for breast cancer amongst young people through mainly universities and university teams um, so I made little boob theme, themed earrings and from each pair that I sold, I'll donate some money to the company, to the charity, sorry. Um, and yeah, that's just helping my brand and a charity. And that's something that makes me really happy and um, satisfied, if you like. <laughs> so one of the issues that like I've been dealing with that I've noticed is like I get like a lot of micro influencers messaging me saying, be really beneficial of your business if you could send us a free product which like for like a new small business seems really appealing at the time but you'll often find that those micro influencers their followers are just other influencers so I actually fell for the trick when I started sent a few free products to these influencers and literally all I got in return was a load of messages from other influencers wanting free products and it's, I think it's so rude and just disrespectful to like new businesses. So I've been talking about that a lot and a lot of businesses have related. Never like think that your products are too expensive either. Charge what you think they're worth. Like, so I put my product, my earrings were all five pound per pair at the start, which is fine when I was starting out and trying to figure out 
how to do it properly. Um, but as soon as I've got the quality of the earrings, like I put the prices up and then some people are like, well, why have you done that? I was like, well, because I've gotten better at it. I'm going to charge what I think I'm due. And that's what you should do. And if people don't like it and they don't buy it, that's fine. Somebody else will. So if you're thinking about starting your own business, my main piece of advice would just be to go for it. Um, if it's something you're truly, truly passionate about, don't let anything else get in the way. Like the worst thing that's gonna happen is it's not gonna work, but I think the benefits of it potentially being something incredible weighs out the bad. Just go for it, follow your dreams, and just pounce on everyone that you can get your products to. Shove it in your faces, target your family and friends because they're gonna wanna support you. And yeah, just, enjoy it because it's such a fun journey you can find only angel studios by searching at only angel studios all one word we're the same on instagram facebook etsy and tiktok